January 30th, 2003. A thrown baseball changed my life. I was unaware that the ball from the outfield was already thrown. It was soaring high up in the air. And when it came down, it smashed me right in the left temple of my head. We're so thrilled with Austin's progress and, and how he has just pushed himself and started his own business and now speaking in front of crowds. And it's so fun to watch people's faces and light, you know, and, and sometimes cry, see them cry as they hear Austin's story. But when Austin, you know, flashes that smile, uh, it tends to be contagious. It's pretty obvious that there is success here. Um, Austin's smile was big, he's successful, he's speaking in front of hundreds of people. But you know, on my journey over the last 12 years, I've learned also another very important lesson. And that lesson was that I'm no longer more like this hare. Well, I'm more like the tortoise now. And that I have to make continual, slow progress every day. But I know if I work hard enough and I pursue what I'm going after, I can say that I crossed that finish line. So inspirational to see um, that other side where if somebody gets better and they are speaking and they are productive and they have a wonderful life. And so it, it's just, it's heartwarming. Um, it was a, a, just a, a, probably the best part of this conference, definitely. Austin's ability to be able to say what he does, it, it gives people hope because he, he, when he lived it, he experienced it. Uh, it was it was traumatic. Didn't know if he was going to make it or not, <clears throat> but he did. And now all of a sudden, people can say, "Man, if he can do it, I can do it." Who are you more like, the tortoise or the hare? He just touches me. Every every encounter I have with him is, I just always walk away feeling really good. And lastly, just like that tortoise, he pushed himself. He knew what he wanted. He knew he wanted to finish that race. And then let the hair distract him either way.